all right folks i'm back with the second session this session is completely going to be in english so if you are a if you are an indian listener indian watcher uh, an indian student and if you're not so comfortable in english then i please recommend you to go with the other playlist this session is only for my international students they have been requesting a lot to come up with a english session as well so here i am this is the second part of that series all right in the first series i have already given you a brief introductory roadmap of what this course is going to be right in the previous session i have already told you to pick a company right pick a company right and i don't want any one of you to stay without a company because this is going to be a practical session and you are going to learn the practical business analysis skills business analysis lessons and we are going to prepare an equity research report as well as a valuation model so i want to make sure you are with a real company right and not a fictitious company pick a real company so that you may assess your skills on a practical basis and not a and not and not on theoretical basis so once again you need you need to discover your circle of competence only pick the company which you truly understand expand your circle of competence by reading right that is not on my hands that is completely up to you if you if you want to say that you understand the many part of businesses then you need to read widely and how to gain analytical skills that will uh, that i will teach you and business knowledge and analysis that you will learn in this course and also by yourself by reading about the businesses reading and analyzing about the businesses yeah so let's get further so in this session we are going to talk about the two main things buy side analyst and sell side analyst what are they how they do the work and types of analyst or we talk about the buy side and sell side job profiles what they do on a daily basis right what are their responsibilities what are they responsible for and how to use linkedin the gold mine to job search for a job search right so you need to make sure that you first point carry one notebook carry one pen and notebook not just a notebook pen and notebook second be attentive because i am going to post the lessons almost daily now be attentive third make sure to apply the lessons apply the right so with these three points let's get further into the buy side and sell side forward all right so let's get to the most basic aspect of equity research so whenever someone say they want to make a career in equity research so you the first thing you need to ask them is whether it's want to go into the buy side role second or sell side role i'm going to explain what are they what are the pros and cons of each one and how to make a career in each one so these are the main two main industry roles buy side analyst and sell side analyst so in the most basic element the buy side is the one who buy stocks the one who analyze stocks not buy actually analyze stocks for their own companies portfolio for their company right now what type of companies are these these are the companies which are managing the savings of millions of other people right asset management company amcs right pmss portfolio management services hedge funds right your most basic mutual funds right that comes under the amcs as well right so buy side analyst the one who is analyzing the stocks with the perception of buying for their own portfolio right you are not going to tell tell it to other people to buy it right you are buying you are buying for your own company's portfolio for your own portfolio right so this is the main point behind buy side analyst sell side analyst these are the ones who sell their recommendations right 
if you have done a complete research on a stock and you work at an investment advisory firm, right? so your job is to sell your analysis to others so that they trade on their platform, right? So we are going to look at the roles of each analyst, career opportunity, roles and responsibility. And fourth point, skills required to succeed in each, right? So this is the main point, which you need to understand that these four points will be covered in depth for the, in this video, right? So this is the main basic point. Buy side for those companies which is managing the uh, savings of others. Sell side means you are selling your recommendation. You are selling your analysis in the form of an equity research report to retail clients. Let's go further into it. All right, folks. Let's take a deeper look at sell side analyst tool. Right? What are the tools? Sell side. Sell means to sell something, right? Most basic skills, it's related to sales, right? It's related to sales. So basically, they work for equity brokerages. They work for investment advisory firms. Equity brokerages, they publish equity research reports. They are the ones writing research reports. They are the ones doing the industry research, sector research, right? If you have read any magazine, any financial magazine or any equity research magazine, you must have come across, right? They tell you to, they tell you to buy or sell. <laughs> they tell you to buy, sell stocks based on their analysis, right? So this is the main thing. They are selling the recommendations, right? They are selling the recommendations of stocks and also they work for investment advisory. Now, what does an investment advisory do? They are simply the ones recommending clients how to manage their portfolio better than themselves, right? All right, let me just go to the rough work part. Just a second. Right. So first of all, sell side. They sell their recommendation, right? They sell their analysis, they sell their recommendation, right? They sell their analysis, right? To retail clients. Now, why do they sell it? Because that's their job, right? They work for uh, equity research houses, right? Equity research firm, just like global consulting research is. Equity research firms. Second, financial. <coughs> financial advisory firms, right? Now, the sell side says that I have done the research on stock ABC, right? They have prepared a report on it, right? I'll teach you how to prepare a report as well. So what in that particular report, they write an investment thesis on the particular stock, right? And at the end, they say whether to buy or whether to sell. This is the main job of a sell side analyst. Now, do they charge for it? Do they charge for preparing this report? See, most cases, these reports are free of cost for retail clients at least, right? For retail clients, These reports are free, actually. So how do they make money? That's the most common question, right? These reports are free of cost for retail clients. Then how do they make money from retail clients? I'll tell you. They charge when we trade on their platform, right? This is the main thing about the about this industry, right? If they don't want you to. The reason we call them sell side is because they sell their investment recommendation to retail investors, right? Now, retail investors, they do not have a ton of knowledge. They do not have a ton of knowledge. These analysts basically prepare equity research report. Now, preparing equity research report will be the main task of a sell side analyst, right? If you are a sell side analyst working at an equity brokerage house or an investment advisory firm. It's crucial. It's crucial to know how to prepare the, how to prepare an equity research report and how to present your idea in such a way that the reader of the report takes action on it, right? How to prepare a report. It's the main skill here, right? 
and it's not so easy to prepare a report. You have to write an investment thesis. You have to deal to a deep fundamental or technical analysis, right? And they distribute it in the open market and to be read by retail investors, right? So they are distributed in the open market, right? They do not charge for it. They don't charge for the recommendations, but here is the catch. They expect the client to trade on their platform, right? Now, most of these equity brokerages, these are brokers, right? You must have heard the term broker. Right? They are the middleman between the stock market and retail client, right? Here is the stock market. Here is the broker. And here is the equity investor. That is us, right? So you need to make sure that you understand their motives. Do you understand their greeds? Do you understand their reason behind what they are doing so you need to make sure that you are making it the right call because they want you to trade on their platform so that they can earn a commission earn a commission from trading right they want you to trade day in and day out right so that is the reason they are called sales analysts because in the disguise of equity research report they are selling their brokerage services right they are actually selling their brokerage services and not just the investment recommendation even though they are called equity research houses but at the end of the day they want you to trade on their platform and use their recommendations to equity research this is the main thing that a sales and analyst does i hope everything is clear and if you have already already not done so please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel now let's let's look at the main call for a sales and analyst the main goal for a sales analyst is to get the client, that is you and I, to make decisions whether to buy or sell a particular business. So you have done the research, right? You have done the research, you have prepared a report. Now you want the client take action. Take action on your research. So whether to buy, sell or hold depends on the analyst to analyst whether they have given it a sell call or a buy call. We prepare detailed equity research reports that will uh, that I will teach you in this course. Right? So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. On businesses they track. Now every analyst tracks a particular businesses. Right? Every analyst is going to track a particular sector or particular set of businesses. We'll talk a lot about it. Like a sector or particular business. And they tell whether to invest or not in a particular business. So that is their most basic job. Everybody knows, right? They can. A typical analyst will tell you whether whether to invest or whether not to invest. The entire business of these analysts are to get the word out about a particular So that is their main job, right? They are more like a salesman. They want you to they want you to take action. action on their investment thesis. So this is the main task of a sales analyst. What they are doing is they are working for equity research firms, they are working for investment advisory firms where they are given a particular uh, set of sectors or set of companies which they track on a daily basis. And on them, they prepare equity research reports, valuation model, and then they go out there and try to sell the recommendation to the retail clients, retail clients who you and I with a lim uh, with limited knowledge and limited money, right? This is the main task of a sales ad analyst. Now let's look at some of the skills which are highly ignored in sales ad analyst. Like people think only finance skills and number skills are involved, but that is not the case. The number one skill you need to develop his people skill because you are going to deal with the people deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis right that is your first job if you are on a phone with the client and you do not know how to present your ideas verbally if you are on an email talking to a prospective client if you do not know how to present your ideas in a written form in a written format and you do not know how to present how to persuade the other person in a written and verbal way then you are not going to be successful, right? Everybody has a finance degree, right? 
everybody has a finance degree so you need to step up and change your game with these skills right because a sales ad analyst is not a desk job right it might be for a few years but it's not a desk job right you are you will be required to go and talk to the client to go and talk to the management to go and talk to other analysts as well right it's not a desk job so understand this point not a desk job so communication skills analytical skills right what are the analytical skills how to analyze the business how to understand the numbers and how to be comfortable with them and how to sense a fraud on which we'll going to talk a lot about in the further sessions right now presentation skills you obviously need to have the presentation skills to present your ideas right? to present your ideas right selling sales skills now this is a crucial skill that you must have right if you are on a phone call if you are talking to a client like a face to face client talk or if you are on email you need to know how to sell your recommendation right if you do not know how to sell you are not going to make much money for your firm right negotiation financial skills report preparation prolific writing skills are something which you need to develop on your own that is this is something that i cannot teach you right so start writing on linkedin start writing your investment thesis on linkedin and share it with others so that is the only way right social media can be used here that can be used here and i will teach you how to use the social media in the best possible way in the upcoming video so these are the skills that a typical sales ad analyst must develop in himself or herself for a successful career in sales ad analyst right people skills communication skills analytical presentation skills selling is the one of the most important skills negotiation you must negotiate your investment thesis with your portfolio manager with your with your portfolio manager with your clients right or uh, with the management as well financial skills that i will teach you in this course report preparation we are going to prepare a report from absolute scratch prolific writing skills that is something you need to develop on your own all right let's get further i hope you all are understanding the video if you are understanding the video then kindly go down there and comment and like a day in the life of a sell side analyst right 9 am present investment thesis to their portfolio manager right covering everything about the company so you need to do the research doing the research the company sector she flags and help them the help the entire team the understand the latest development with them right what are their success to all the financial news right so you need to stay aware about the company and sector you are tracking the sales team is further giving instruction to as to what stock idea to sell to the clients via phone or email right you must have heard a lot of Uh, brokerage calls, I receive brokerage calls on a daily basis. They tell me about different companies, different sectors, and different developments in the market. So you need to understand. You need to be aware, right? That you are a client for them. You are a target customer, right? So all of these people that call you, they are from sell side analyst role, right? So as an analyst, your job would be to analyze the sector that you are tracking or the companies that you are tracking, and if the portfolio manager if your boss likes it then he or she will be further ordering the sales team to recommend it to the clients right <coughs> sorry right so you are going to have in person marketing meeting with clients as well right in person marketing meeting with clients corporate as well as individual right so these are the client that you need to sell your recommendations to attend conference calls with the clients to understand the company sector better now how to read con calls that is also included in this course how to read the con calls and teach how to read the con calls and how to make sense of them right educating the sales force with their new ideas and selling recommendations now if you are telling other people to go and tell it to the client whether to buy or sell the stock you need to have the skills to put your best ideas forward and tell it to other people as well why is it so good right what's so good about your analysis right what's so good about your company and analysis so you need to make sure that you 
can sell your ideas right selling your ideas is the main thing here it's not just about crunching numbers on an excel sheet So basically, as you can see, the sales side rule isn't just about knowing the income statement, balance sheet, or cash flow statement. Because everybody knows that. Everybody knows the financial skills, right? It's more about being a dynamic saleswoman and knows how who knows how to deal with people and how to be a great investment analyst. So understand these points. FSA skills plus negotiation skills. Are the main stuff behind the sales side analyst role, right? So you need to have a sales skill as well if you want to be a good analyst. Roles and responsibility: supporting equity such projects, right? This is the main thing, such as building, maintaining financial models, writing investment thesis, conducting valuation, ECF and relative, right? So all of this will be your job. Preparing research reports on various sectors and firms. Now, I'll teach you how to do that. Supporting clients in decision making, right? If you are talking to clients on a daily basis, you need to make sure that every client is being served to the highest degree possible, right? So you need to make sure that you support them in decision making, whether to buy, sell, or hold a particular stock. Keeping track of various developments in sectors that you plan. Right? Obviously, if you are tracking FMCG or you are tracking the IT sector, you need to make sure that you remain aware about what is developments in that sector. What are the pros and cons whether a particular sector is investment favored or not right so you need to make sure that you stay up to date with the sectors and industry as well so these are some of the main tasks of sales and analysts let's look at some of the sales ad firms in india now obviously this is an international course but i am going to be talking about india as well because india is one of the finest investment destinations currently the number one is motila loss or icici direct the last Street Investment Journal, Sheer Khan, Angel One. Now, these are some of the top sales ad firms in, in our country. Right? Let's look at the international. Now, some of the most global giants are obviously JP Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, City Group, UBS. So, these are some of the international players where everybody wants a job. Getting into any of this will make a fortune for an analyst, right? These analysts typically make more than $50,000 plus a year. This is the minimum to minimum salary that I'm talking about, right? In many cases, I have seen people making millions of dollars over here. So once again, make sure that you focus on skills and not just on degree. Get a job over here. Right? All right. We have covered the sales ad firm, sales ad analyst firm. I hope everything is clear with the sales ad analyst firms, right? have looked at the job responsibility all the skills required the definition what they do right now let's look at the <coughs> buy side firm now what the buy side does is is the exact opposite of a sales analyst they are not selling the recommendation they do not sell the they do not sell the recommendation sell the recommendation But they act on their own, act on their own analysis, right? So what they are doing is, they are doing the analysis, they are doing the research, research report preparation, they are doing all these headache of research and valuing the businesses for their own portfolio, right? They work for PMSs, Portfolio Management Services, AMCs, Asset Management Company, Hedge Fund, these are privately pooled funds. I'm going to explain everything about the hedge funds as well in this course. Privately owned fund. We have the main duty of analysts help the portfolio manager to select stocks for the portfolio. Now, the portfolio manager of a big MNC, or sorry, AMC, they have let's say hundred billion dollar in assets under management. They have hundred billion dollar of other people's money. Now, one particular person will not be able to manage this kind of money, right? So obviously, they do need analysts. They do need to delegate their work. Now, the buy side analyst, what they do is they do all of these research, they do all the business analysis, valuation, and every single thing that comes into the financial analysis part. Now, they help the portfolio manager to select the stocks for their portfolio, which they are managing on the behalf of other people. Right? 
let's say let's take an example of hundred billion dollar, right? Obviously, if you want to manage hundred billion dollar in the most efficient and profitable manner, you need to have a team. Now, that team is the uh, is an army of buy side, and they will tell the portfolio manager what to buy, right? What to buy and what to sell. These are the main things that a buy side analyst does. They are buying stocks for their own portfolio. Their main job, of, the main job of this analyst, is not to sell the advice to others, but to help st select stocks for the portfolio of the fund manager. Now, they are the fund managers, right? They are managing funds for other people, right? So obviously, if they are managing the funds for other people, they need to have a research team. They need to have a valuation team. They need to have a trading team, right? So. Buy side analyst does this through the research part of the stock. Buy side analyst, they say, sir, XYZ stocks should be bought and other stocks should be sell sold. Right. So this is the main thing about the buy side from as AMCs and PMSs have huge assets under management. This is other people's money, right? Other people's money. Those who have invested because they cannot manage their own money, right? Which requires extensive research for stock selection. Your job would be to analyze and build model. Okay. I hope everything is clear till this point. If you have a doubt, then do contact me on LinkedIn. If you are working in a buy side firm, then you will be assigned a few sectors and companies. In fact, so once again, the process is going to be safe. You will be assigned a few sectors and few companies which you are going to track on a daily regular basis. Your job would be to present your findings in a PPT. Obviously, you need to present your ideas to the portfolio manager that you report to. Research reports, right? Research report is the main thing over here as well, right? This is the main thing in the equity. Anybody can prepare the report, uh, PPT, right? But not many people can write a great research report. What I have seen. This is the main job. Or an Excel model, right? Once again, we are going to talk a lot about financial modeling, valuation as well. To your reporting portfolio manager. Now, here is the difference between the buy side and sell side. You are not reporting to the outside public. You are reporting to the portfolio manager, your own fund manager that you report to, so that she can make a decision. Making the decision is the main part over here, whether to buy or not to buy a pertinency for the fund under her administration. Let's take example of a hedge fund. There is this hedge fund called Bridgewater Associates. I don't know if you have heard about it or not, but it is the largest hedge fund in the history. Right? Now, Bridgewater Associates, they have $160 billion in assets under management. Now, to manage the $160 billion, they need to have a huge research team. Right? It's an obvious thing that the fund manager, Bridgewater Associates front fund manager is Mr. Ray Dalio. Right? Mr. Ray Dalio cannot do all this alone. It's as common sense as possible, right? So they need to have a research team. Now that research team will help Mr. Ray Dalio to make the decision whether how to allocate the $160 billion over the entire world stock market. You have no relation to outside clients. You only work so that your company can buy a particular stock for the assets management division, right? It's as simple as that. You will not be required to deal with the retail clients or corporate clients. But you will be required to deal with the management. Now, whose management? Is it the management that you are working under? Yes, but it will also be the management that you track, right? All the companies that you track, you will be required to attend the conference calls. You will be required to meet the management. You will be required to question the management. So that is the thing about the buy side firms as well, that you need to have people skills. You need to have a way of asking the right question, right? Because if you ask the wrong question from management, that the management of the company that you are tracking, then you might get fined of getting the insider information from, from the company, right? That's the difference between a buy side and sell side. All right, let's get further. I hope everything is clear till now. If you have not already done so, then please like the video. Now let's look at some of the skills that is required in the buy side from this. People scale is something that is required in almost all almost all professions nowadays because those other days have gone where you can rely only on the technique. You need to have 
सम हार्ड कोर स्किल्स टू बी सक्सेसफुल कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एनालिटिकल स्किल्स प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स डिबेटिंग स्किल्स नेगोशिएशन एफ एस ए रिपोर्ट राइटिंग एंड क्वालिफिक राइटिंग स्किल्स राइट तो वन सेकेंड डिबेटिंग स्किल्स इज समिंग विच इज डिफरेंट इयर राइट ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू डिफेंड योर आइडिया You need to defend your ideas. Which ideas? Stock ideas. The particular company that you are bullish or bearish. You need to defend your ideas in the management. Right. So these are some of the skills that we will see how to develop and how to make sure that we get the success we deserve in the buy side as well as sell side. Right. A day in the life of a buy side analyst. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Present your investment thesis to the portfolio manager. Manager, right? That is the number one thing you do, right? You need to make sure that you, yeah, you defend the idea, right? Because you are going to get a lot of questioning against against your particular stock recommendation. Defend the idea through your in-depth research, right? Covering everything about company sector, he tracks and helps them entire team understand the latest development. Right? So you need to have a close grip. I would say a hardcore grip on. Or particular company or sector, you need to understand the ins and outs. You need to understand the growth drivers of the company. You need to understand the SWOT, entire SWOT analysis of a particular sector or team. The trading floor of the buy side firm is given further instruction as to who buy or sell. Now, every buy side firm, every asset management company, every PMS, every hedge fund has a trading floor. Trading floor is the one which actually initiates the transaction with the prime brokers. Right? These are the Main pillars of a buy side from the trading floor, right? And they are given instruction what to buy or sell. Your main job will be to <coughs> your main job will be to get your investment ideas from the top management, right? That is something that you need to do. You need to get your investment ideas, the research that you do, the investment that you present to the top management. And present it in such a manner that your investment thesis is accepted, and you help firm make the more money. Right? The more money your firm make, more money your firm make, the more money you make. It's as simple as that. The more you make, this is how you get promoted in the field. Right stock recommendation plus negotiation skill. This is the main thing about the equity. Now you must have watched it in the movies because uh, Hollywood and Bollywood does a great job of portraying these fields as easy. But trust me, this field is not easy. You need to have a lot of confidence in yourself, a lot of communication skills, as well as great presentation skills. So it's all about being heard. If nobody is listening to you, then all of your stock recommendation, all of your research is going to go into waste with your great presentation as well as communication. It gets tougher for a guy, shy guy or girl to succeed in this, succeed in this industry, as this industry is all about being salesy. You must have heard a lot of analysts being bullish for without any reason because they are being salesy. They just want to sell, right? And less about being perfect in the analysis. If you have any doubt, kindly comment below. Right, I'll reply to all the answers. Common denominator. Now, if you whether you want to work at a buy side, whether you want to work at a sell side, right, or in investment banking, <coughs> an in-depth understanding of the business is required. You need to understand the business. You need to understand the growth drivers. You need to understand the sector. So, this is what we are going to do in this course. If you have not already done so, I would recommend you all to please do it, right? Because without understanding the business, you cannot succeed as an investor or an analyst, right? You need to know how to present your idea, how to invest in in your idea, and how to analyze the business. So the truth about equity research is a thorough understanding of the business industry. What is There are no easy ways or shortcuts around it, right? So here are some of the few buy side firms in India: ICICI Asset Management Company, Marcellus Investment Managers, Abacus Asset Management, Kotak Mahindra, 
SBI mutual fund, Franklin Templeton, and many more mutual funds at AMC, right? So these are some of the top firms in India. Let's look, look at the international companies. All right, let's look at the roles and responsibility, helping portfolio manager in decision making, preparing reports and models, right? Managing the company relationships, attending the con calls. I'll teach you how to read the con calls as well. Preparing clear buy and sell signals for the game. So you need to make sure that you do all of them on a daily basis. So here comes the final part of the session. So understand the main point. You need to develop the skills and not just paper degrees, not just paper degrees, right? So my request to develop your to develop your communication, public speaking, as well as your presentation skills. So and the rest leave it always. Right? In the next session, we are going to look at how to search for a job on LinkedIn and how to get it with the FSA. So with this, I'm signing off. I hope you understand the lesson and you enjoy the session as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you so much.